right, good morning. It is Monday, start of the deload week. I'm out on my balcony right now. Um, training this morning went well. Had some sled accelerations, two sets, 20, 30, 40. The 20 meter sled sprints were with the heavier sled and then the 40 meter sled sprints were with the lighter sled. So I had 30 kilos for the 20 meters, I had 20 kilos for the 30 meters, and then I dropped it down to 10 kilos for the last one. So a little bit lighter than what I did last week, just because it's a deload week, I wanted to kind of drop the weights down a little bit. Usually I feel pretty trash going into a deload, so it's good, I actually felt really good this morning. The plan for this afternoon is we have another light session, got some cleans, front squats, uh, and that's pretty much gonna be the afternoon session. But I did get more of an update on bobsled, so I wanna let you guys know what's kinda happening with that right there. So. Let me head inside real quick. So bobsled in itself, the international body met last week. They decided that the season is gonna go on as planned, but there's kind of an asterisk on that. They're gonna re-meet in September and re-decide what's gonna be happening or make their final decision of what's gonna be happening uh, for the season, which Basically means they met last week, they don't know what they wanna do, and they're kinda of pushing off making a decision until later on where they have more information and trying to see how the situation is going for a lot more countries before they finally make a decision on whether or not they're gonna be canceling races and canceling the season. Um, kinda of makes sense. This is the year going into an Olympic year, so obviously they wanna have races, they want people competing right now because the Olympics coming up is a huge deal, and they want everyone to be as ready as possible, and they wanna have the best team show up for the Olympics to have the best competition. Not making a decision puts a lot of teams and a lot of athletes in limbo, uh, myself included, because I've been approved for housing at the Olympic Training Center. I was supposed to be moving out there on August 14th, and I would stay there until October when we would have our team trials and then we would start traveling for races in North America. Um, but the fact that they haven't made a decision 100% that's saying that we will have these races or we won't have these races has left me in a place where do I want to go travel and risk getting stuck in the States if the situation gets worse and not being able to come home because I live in Europe or do I travel out there and everything gets canceled and it ends up being a little bit of a waste of time when I could have stayed home, um, built the business a little bit more and also still continued training because right now this is the best training environment that I have available to me. The OTC in New York has a lot of restrictions on um, you know, who can train with who, what hours you're allowed to train and where you're allowed to train. There's just they're trying to be as safe as possible. I get why they're doing that, and I agree that it needs to be that way just because they'd rather be safe than sorry. Um, but the fact that here in Iceland, COVID is basically non-existent, so I can do pretty much whatever I want, whenever I want. I can train in the mornings, I can train for as long as I want, I can get all my work done, I don't have to worry about certain times I have to train. This is basically the best environment for me right now in terms of training. So I've told our coaches that I'm gonna hold off on coming out there until a decision has actually been made and I know 100% for sure what's gonna be going on uh, with the season so then I can prepare properly and be able to use my time efficiently. So that's kind of the update right now for bobsled. Uh, I am just gonna continue training until something actually happens rather than a half decision being made and then they're gonna make another decision a couple months later. So the plan now would be to head to New York in September. So I'm gonna push back my dates about a month. So if I can get out there beginning to middle of September, then that would be the most ideal for me at this time. And then we're just gonna kinda of take it from there. So that's the bobsled update right now. But next up we have training. What I have is five sets of two at 150 kilos. Then I've got front squats, three sets of three at 65%, and then I've got some split squats to do at the end of the session today. So next up is power cleans.
So that's it for today's training. Uh, I had those cleans today, had three sets of two at 150 kilos. Felt smooth and snappy on those. Front squats today were at three sets of three at 65%, which was 140 kilos for me. And then finished off with those split squats, two sets of five on each leg. So not a lot going on right now for the deload week. I'm um, starting off the week strong though, feeling good. Hopefully I'm gonna get you guys a tour of the gym sometime this week. Planning on filming that either tomorrow or Wednesday. The downstairs floor is finished. It's ready to go. People were training in it today. It looks absolutely amazing. So I'm excited to show that off. And I'm more excited to start training there later this week myself. So appreciate you guys watching the videos. Make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll be back at it with more.